Now this might seem like a large package for an SSD, but we've actually got something a little bit different for you from Plextor. What's this? Nothing inside. Air storage. No, I'm just kidding, we already took it out. PCI Express SSD. The future of storage is here. <laughs> So this right here is the 256 gig version of the M6E from Plextor. It's got true speed, which is their hardware-based trim that works regardless of OS support. And I'm trying to find it here. It's also got true protect, which is Plextor's way of saying that your data will be written with 100% accuracy using their custom firmware to ensure both accuracy over time and error correction so that nothing gets garbled once it's stored there. And it comes with a five-year warranty. On the back there's a, oh wow, there's a ton of stuff but the important bit is this chart that shows some detailed specs for this SSD. This particular one, the 256 gig model, is complemented with 512 megs of DDR3 RAM. There are also some performance numbers here. We are looking at 770 megabytes per second reads and 550 megabytes per second writes. While being capable of about 100,000 4K IOPS in both reads and writes, that makes this SSD, well, actually, unrealistically fast, because most of the other SSDs that we've ever seen before operate on SATA 3, which caps out around 550 megabytes per second. So, by moving over to PCI Express as a PCIe 4X interface, we are actually unlocking additional performance. So, let's open it up. I guess, in theory, I wasn't supposed to have opened this yet. Um, there's just a little drive sitting on a gigantic green PCB. At the back, we've got some LED indicators. Red is for power. Green means you've got a valid link to the SSD and yellow means your grandmother is in trouble. No, a yellow is actually an activity LED that blinks during reads and writes. So if you thought that it meant your grandmother is in trouble, if you stopped reading right there and went, holy crap, my M6E, it's running all the time with the yellow LED, I gotta get to grandma! then you're probably in for a bit of a surprise. On the bottom, we've got a PCI Express 4X connector. Don't forget, guys, that this can be placed into any PCI Express slot that is 1X, 2X, 4X, 8X, 16X, it doesn't matter. You're gonna need at least a 4X one in order to get all the bandwidth, and if you wanna put it in a smaller one, you have to make sure it has an open back, and you won't get quite the same performance as you would in a 4X slot. The rest of this is pretty simple. So actually, this PCB, there is like, nothing to it. It is just, you can actually see all the traces on it. It is just a PCI Express to M2 adapter. It contains mounting points for both of the standard lengths of M2 SSDs, and M2 is the really exciting thing about this product. It's kind of the replacement for mSATA. Instead of being restricted to a SATA interface, this new standard contains native support for PCIe 3.0, SATA 3, and internal USB 3 interfaces. The idea here is that you have access to up to four PCIe lanes, theoretically capable of providing 985 megabytes per lane, and you can attach pretty much whatever you want to it. So back to the drive. Plexter has spent some time developing the firmware here to be as compatible as possible. While it does provide legacy BIOS support, it is optimized for UEFI and is AHCI compliant without any drivers. That means it's designed to boot quickly and not require any messing around with once you get into the OS. If anyone remembers when when OCZ's Revo drives first hit the market, there were lots of issues getting those working as boot drives. Well, this promises to work in and out of Windows without the need for software or drivers. And that is pretty much it. For this showcase of the Plextor M6E, stay tuned, because in an upcoming episode, Wheels is going to put this on a bench, put it up against the wall, and really give it the bit. I mean, uh, put it up against some of the other high-performance SSDs that we have here in the studio. Thank you for watching. Comment and tell us what other SSDs you want us to compare this against and as always don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from ncix.com